Today, acute stroke is the leading cause of disability and the fourth cause of death globally. According to the World Health Organization, 15 million people suffer stroke worldwide each year. Of these, 5 million die and another 5 million are permanently disabled. The treatment of stroke patients requires fast and effective collaboration between healthcare professionals to reduce onset to reperfusion time, shorten hospital stay, and improve the results of rehabilitation. At Philips, we are committed to improve the future of stroke care, starting from the hyperacute through to the acute and postacute phases. What if, in the hyperacute phase of a stroke, you could provide rapid evaluation to reduce door to treatment time? Meet Tom. He is married to Susan. Imagine Tom experiences a sudden weakness and falls over. Susan takes out her phone with the emergency app and recognizes signs of a possible stroke. She then hits the speed dial to alert the emergency response team. The visual signs and location are sent via the app to the emergency services. They dispatch a specially equipped ambulance that helps assess possible stroke and transfers data directly to the neurologist on call. If a stroke is suspected, the system finds the fastest route to the right hospital. The hospital is notified by the system, which automatically enters Tom's data into his virtual health record. Just before arrival, Tom's virtual data is picked up by the response team's stroke communication app, which notifies each member to be ready for CT and angio suite. Upon arrival, Tom is taken directly to the neuroimaging suite, where diagnosis and treatment are combined in one environment, the one-stop shop. After imaging, a fast and confident treatment decision is made with the help of the stroke treatment algorithm. Because of the one-stop shop, a neurothrombectomy procedure can be immediately performed. In the acute phase, it's crucial to reduce the time wasted and to start planning for rehabilitation. After the treatment, Tom is now in the specially designed room to speed up his recovery. Tom's progress is closely monitored by the medical professionals. The physiotherapist shows Tom the Smart Patient Connectivity Tool. This lets Tom do things like follow the exercise program, watch his rehab videos, read his patient agenda, connect with loved ones, and get tailored information on stroke. The multidisciplinary team analyzes Tom's current status and goals then decides on a discharge date and destination advised by the system. In the post-acute phase, the aim is to enhance Tom's recovery and create a positive patient experience. To create his therapy program, Tom has several assessments in the rehab center, including digital cognitive tests. During the post-acute phase, Tom is closely monitored to track his performance. Tom's progress data and the services he'll need to transition from hospital to home are assessed during the multidisciplinary consultation. Tom is at risk for falling. The doctor also notices that Tom is having episodes of atrial fibrillation and recommends continuous monitoring at home. He's provided with a lifeline service, a monitor to track activity and atrial fibrillation, and a home monitoring app to help Tom track his diet, mobility, cognition, and medication adherence at home, and to share this information with his providers. The nurse in the GP office is automatically alerted to changes in Tom's condition that may be of concern. With his data at hand, the GP can manage Tom's condition and try to prevent a second stroke. This is only the beginning of how having the right data at the right time can greatly influence stroke care. Philips is constantly innovating around ideas to improve stroke care across the healthcare continuum by using our cloud-based solution, HealthSuite Digital Platform. For more information, please contact 
stroke.vision2020 at philips.com. Innovation and you. Philips.